Hey, my name is Hanan Piatsky and as you guess, I will teach you today how to play the Tall Fiddler by Tony Emmanuel, dedicated to his fiddle player friend Byron Bearline. So, in this lesson I will explain how to play the song note after note and then I'll talk about technique so we can actually play this song because Tommy plays it very fast. The tuning in this song is drop G and drop D and you place your capo on the 2nd fret or 3rd fret, whatever you like. So, G, D. Then uh, Tommy plays sometimes an introduction and sometimes he starts right off from the... But I'll suggest some introduction uh, pretty similar to something that I've heard on YouTube, on one of his uh, performances. So it's something like... Okay, first of all, hammer on and pull offs. And then, same thing on the second fret. And then, bend and release. And then, hit the bass. And then, just strum quickly. Support your hand with your pinky and it will be much easier instead of holding your hand in the air and putting strain on your hands You will play just You see no effort here, so Then proceed to this one And then to this one so and then just when you release this chord, make sure you hit the first string, so you do not just... So you will have a transition note. Something like this. And then slide. Just down stroke, so... And return backwards. harmonics on the 14th fret. Before we start the song itself, I will show you the technique which this song is based on. It's strumming with down strokes and sometimes you insert an upstroke in between. Now let's see just the down strokes. This is the technique. It looks simple, doesn't it? When you play fast, something like... It won't be that simple, believe me. So, practice slowly the whip-like movement of your hand, so it will not be fixed on its place, like... A this is a bad example. See what's right. Notice how my hand is not fixed and this joint area is free for slight rotation while I hit the strings. It's really really important for the relaxation of your hand because you will not be able to play fast for a long time if you play with a fixed hand. Hit the bass with a downstroke and then hammer on. So, downstroke and upstroke. This is the pattern. And the fourth time you play. So, instead of you play. Now make sure you cover an entire bar and another bar, another bar, another bar and then you start on the first beat of the next bar. So will not cut off just wherever you want. You must stay in time. Okay? So now let's see with the metronome how I play it and I go to the main melody. I start from the first beat 
and something I haven't told, you can play also without the repetition of whatever you like, just find something that sounds good to you. So, one, two, three, four. Ninety-five BPM. First section. I'll show the notes and the picking first, and then I'll connect them together. So the tech, the technique you use here is. This is the strumming method. Downstroke, upstroke, downstroke, upstroke. And it's the same as in my tutorial on guitar boogie also arranged by Tommy Emanuel on my channel. So, you start from an upstroke and here you end on a downstroke. So together and then downstroke again without an upstroke. So. You saw that? I pull off, then downstroke, and then hammer on. Second time, again, downstroke, downstroke, and then you hammer on. So it will be... Now the notes on the background are... So it will be... set my tempo to 95 beats per minute and I start from the first beat which will be on the down stroke so it will be 1 1 1 2 3 4 1 transition looks like here you play two notes per one beat or four notes per one beat I advise you always to go to the smaller amount to develop precision so it will be just two notes per one beat and less time to make a mistake you will understand once you practice down strokes then pull-offs and at the end give some punch hitting the bass and at the same time small tap on the guitar top so it will be now with the metronome I set my tempo to 95 beats per minute and I start from the first beat two three four thing that I think that Tommy does when he plays really fast that he plays and with an upstroke at the end so he has this movement of the hand to return backwards backwards and to repeat the pattern so it will be second section starts from the first beat on this chord downstroke and then you go to this chord and this one will be an upstroke so it will be downstroke and then really really small downstroke again and upstroke and then 
this chord and then this hammer on together and here you slide and then you repeat the same thing and play or just play without the I start from the first beat and I set my tempo to 95 beats per minute 1, 2, 3, 4 Are two chords which Tommy uses as a transition from the second part to the first part and sometimes he also places them between first part and repetition of the first part so they have to cover two four bars for example and then you start again the first section Now let's see what happens when Tommy doubles the tempo. Well, Tommy doesn't actually double up the tempo, but he increases it dramatically, so it will sound super fast. And currently I cannot play it too fast because I haven't practiced the song for a good while, but I will play it in a normal tempo, so we'll get the idea. Here Tommy even slows down the tempo, so he prepares you to hear the blast. So it will be like... Something like this. So now let's hear what happens right after Tommy doubles up, uh, increases the tempo. I will increase a little bit the tempo of the metronome to 100 and... 30, something like this. Two, three, four. of the lick are just slide and pull off at the end and then now before we start the lick I want you to understand this pattern It's something that Tommy uses a lot in his songs and I also explain it in the tutorial of classical gas and in the tutorial of guitar boogie where I, uh, I have written a introduction to the song in the manner something like this so you pick the first string and then pull off and then the second string and then you pick the first and pull off again. So it will be. It 
It's really important that you practice this pattern with a metronome to develop precision and then you can, you can play the entire lick precisely. I set my tempo to 120 BPM. 1, 2, 3, 4. This is the way to practice. Now let's see the lick itself. So I, will, I was here, pull offs, and then, and then. Again, as you saw, most of the lick was repetition of the pattern. And then, hammer on, hammer on again, pull off, and pick hammer on at the end. Same time, uh, second time. So it will be... Another set is... Now with the metronome. I set my tempo to 100 BPM. So we stopped here at the lick and now we'll continue the song until the end at the tempo which I said before 130 BPM. I start from the first beat 1, 2, 3, 4 like again this is it thanks a lot for watching and if you like this tutorial please let me know in the comments and subscribe to my channel for more content in the future yeah.